first of all right click and click on show more option and here we can see git related option once we download Toctoy's SVN we can see some change here so first of all we can download that so go to google chrome and type download Toctoy's SVN and click on the downloads link given here and here we can see the current version is 1.14 so we can come down and there are different options for 64 bit the long term support is also there and that is 1.10 we can download 1.14 so click on that and we can close this our download will get started within 3 2 1 yep so the download will get started and once the download is completed we can go to the downloads folder and here we can see tortoise sphere double click on it and let's open this yep now we can minimize everything else and now we can click on next again next and here not this point okay you need to click on this drop down command line client tool and select this then only we can use the tortoise svn from our ide if you are using intellij then from that ide so enable this okay now click on next then click on next then click on install so now the installation will get started and yeah the system need to be rebooted after installing this click on ok and yep so the installation is in progress and in the previous video we have already downloaded visual svn server now we are downloading visual svn client and we are using toctoys svn there is toctoys git and yeah like that options are also there but we are downloading toctoys svn and the download is in progress it is taking some time let's see yep download is completed we don't want to donate for now and everything is completed now let's click on finish and yeah i will reboot this later since i am taking the video recording the video click on no now just right click and go to show more option and here other than git we can see the svn checkout and tortoise svn option and now we can create repository we can do this tortoise svn commands and all so that's it we have downloaded tortoise svn